see the XC is on the 966 and 72 and on our wheel loaders that is that fully power split transmission offering meaning a hydrostatic and mechanical power path. Essentially that system allows us to decouple ground speed and engine speed and what we're pleased to announce is on this uh, Gen 2 Eco mode. I'll talk about this economy mode again in just a minute but essentially the Eco mode on the XC Generation 2 is anywhere from 6 to 15 percent lower or higher fuel efficiency than its predecessor. Again, how we're doing that is from a power management uh, and rim pull management strategy. Again, completely transparent to the operator. The machine is going to set that uh, engine speed where it needs to be based on the ground speed conditions. And again, full production capability versus the M series on that economy mode that it has even in the power shift system. Where Caterpillar highly promotes using the economy mode is on any flat ground operations, whether it's truck loading, whether it's doing any type of batch plant load and carry, because again, the machine has plenty of, I'll say, rim pull and torque to get up to speed. It has the torque and first gear to do all your bucket loading. And again, on a power shift machine, that uh, eco mode is going to just keep that uh, second gear in hires where the economy mode kicks in. And on the XC, of course, it has virtual gears, so it's just doing it based on that engine speed and rim pull strategy. Despite fuel costs coming down, you know, recently, I'll say in recent years, we see the XC taking off not just from technology adopters. Of course, there's always those customers that want to have the latest and greatest. But again, fully recognizing that that fuel consumption has a direct impact on engine life. It has a direct impact just overall on their operating costs. So we've seen it, again, high hour applications, of course, are going to see the biggest benefit because your payback period shrinks down when you have a high hour usage. But again, wheel loaders in this space can range anywhere from 2,000 all the way up over 5,000 hours per year. So it really is somewhat application dependent. So I kind of answer it that way is we're obviously trying to target customers where they're going to see that payback period. And a lot of times you hear they want it anywhere between 12 and 24 months. But again, that's all dependent on customer economics.